Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. I am um, about to do my flower arrangements and I wanted to share them with you guys. So, hold on one second. Okay, so I have just really pretty, why is this not focusing? Focus. Um, red roses because there were a lot of them now that Valentine's Day is getting close, even though we're not like that close all of a sudden I'm seeing all the Valentine's Day stuff. But I wanted to show you guys how I get like floral, these are very bad old, <laughs> uh, like floral arrangements that look very nice at home. So let me actually grab the camera and show you guys. So these have like wilted beyond belief, like they are well overdue, but they look really pretty. So I'm going to take these out, put new water in here and show you guys how to make really pretty floral arrangements. Okay, so this is the trick on how to get really pretty floral arrangements. And this isn't like anything super innovative. You guys may already know this, but it's called the tape trick. So basically you take transparent tape and you tape a little, this is the one I use, hold on. God, why is this camera not focusing today? It is literally just a scotch transparent tape and you tape a little grid over your um, vase and then it holds the flowers in place so you actually need less flowers and it just makes them sit a lot prettier. We've got our new grid here, completely ready to go. Now I have to cut all of the little leaves off of these. Then trim them up. So let's see, I'm gonna do about. Okay, so this is what one dozen looks like right out the gate. So you can see there's still a few little holes. And basically the goal is just to put one rose in each hole. Here you go. You have this like gorgeous red rose little bush. And then you've got all of these left over. So I'm gonna use these for a different um, little arrangement. I think I've got like eight in here or nine. So I'm gonna use those next. All right, I've got this one that is a little bit smaller in scale. So won't put as much tape on this one. There is the Second little one, so pretty. Oh my God, I've made such a mess, but it's really pretty. I think hell might have frozen over because my husband just looked at me and said, I want you to hold me to it. What did you say, babe? No, you said something about video games? No. So he said, <laughs> And I quote, I'm only gonna play video games for 30 minutes because I wanna get in bed at a decent time and go to sleep. I don't think it'll happen. Um, but I'm about to figure out this dinner situation. So I love making dinner. I like trying new recipes. I have a bad habit of finding recipes on Pinterest and not realizing that they're made for like families of six, not for two, so I'm going to try and find a, um, we're doing like broccoli, chicken, and rice, and I'm gonna try and find a recipe that is for two. And I know a lot of times you can just put in that you are like recipe for two, and it'll pull up, but so let's see, what am I making? Chicken, rice, broccoli, casserole, easy for two. <laughs> All right, I feel like I made a chicken broccoli rice recipe, but I can't remember if that's exactly what it was. Oh yeah, okay. So basically it's just the chicken rice, which I actually need to start now. Um, I'll do it in the Instant Pot. Whole milk, um, a can of cream of chicken, soup, broccoli, 
and extra sharp cheddar cheese. I feel like a lot of what I do in these vlogs is cook, but you guys always really like them. <laughs> like that was the number one vlog request I got when I was asking you guys what kind of content you wanted to see in 2021. You guys were all like, more cooking please. Okay. cute this is i talked about these in a vlog i think last week maybe and i actually just ordered more today um the labels i didn't order more of but the little thing i did actually i need to wash this and also look at this I have a little scooper in it oh oh so Alright, we've got chicken, broccoli, and rice. Have to add a couple more things. This is what we do at night. He sits over there and watches television. Being so sassy. I called you the sass king the other day on my Instagram stories and I just feel like it's stuck in my head for some reason. What do you think? You don't think you're sassy? What do you think with him raised eyebrows at this moment? What do you think? But this is what we do. I'm sitting here finishing up as far as this blog posts. Zeus? Like 6.30? Yeah, he's been in the bed since 6.30. Oh, we heard his name. Oh, shoot. I was going to get him being real cute in the bed. Come here. Come show us what you do. Come on. Come show us. Come show us. Where were you laying? Oh, I know where you were laying. Get on your bed, dog. Come on. So, 
we've done a little test and basically Zeus thinks that every blanket in the house is his, don't you? Every blanket belongs to you. So you could like take this huge blanket, it's massive, and like fold it up and put it in this tiny little square on this side of the bed and he would try and put himself on it because it's his, right? It's really blurry in here because it's dark, but I am self tanning right now. I uh, needed, I need to do it. It's like, I've told you guys, it's getting to a place where my skin's like transparent. It's so white. So I'm using up the last of my loving tan. Um, I used Isle of Paradise last time, but I'm using my loving tan this time because it gives off a really good natural finish too. And you can kind of see the difference. My face is not a good indicator though because my rosacea is like so bad. Um, and bright, like the older I get, it just gets like whiter. It doesn't get like more red, it just gets whiter. Um, so like I just look so red and pink on my face that you really don't even notice, but self tanning. And we are waiting to, trying to finish up our laundry for tonight. That's my bra. <laughs> you gonna do the laundry? You gonna finish it? Like 90% of it is yours. So? What am I finishing? I made dinner. You ate it. If we're doing this, we don't usually do like the I did, you do, but it just seems fitting for this night because I really don't want to do the rest of this laundry. I've got to get this blog post finished. I've started trying to get my blog posts finished. So, and then I schedule them for the next day so that they go up at 5 a.m. Um, that way when like everybody wakes up, if you're subscribed to like get an email through WordPress when the blog post goes live, you already have it like first thing in the morning. So I gotta finish this up, but dinner was delicious. We completely forgot to um, share our thoughts on it. what do you think? It's good. I think it would have been better with cheddar cheese. Too. That's what I think too. I just didn't, it's one of those things I like didn't realize until it was too late, oh. but I did mozzarella I think and it was actually I mean it was still good I just think the cheddar cheese yeah, would have made it yeah it makes it truly like a different taste look at this do you see this it's just not fair okay. Okay. <laughs> Doug you love daddy yeah you don't love mama that's not true we're cuddle buddies at night darkness what you doing over there Can you see him? <laughs> Get the boy. All right, I gotta finish this up. All right, so blog post is done. Sam is watching TV entirely too loud. Oh, why did that just take so long to adjust? Doug, we're coming to bed, baby. Mama could go wash herself tan off the first though. So, finished up with that. And I am hitting schedule. Oh, it always feels good having that done. Like hitting schedule is like my favorite. So by the time you guys see this, it'll actually be live already. So there it is. all the different sneakers then my outfit details but fun fact if you don't know you can actually click on my outfit here and it'll take you to the outfit details there too all right call it a night for this one because clearly I just look fabulous and I, I need to go show the world how fabulous I look. <laughs> See you tomorrow. What are you doing? Is that your blanket? Those puppy dog eyes get me every single time. Oh my goodness. You get your pretty little face. Doug, why are you so cute? I told Sam the other day, I'm about to go get ready. Sorry, I look like this. Um, I told Sam the other day, like I totally get it how parents, like 
I mean, I, I don't totally get it. We don't have kids, but how parents can be like looking at their child, thinking they're so cute, and be like, I want another one. Because I look at Doug and I'm like, I want another. <laughs> I want another dog so bad. Right, Sam? We should get another dog. We should we should get another dog. We should. We should get another one. Our <laughs> You're so full of it. He's obsessed with that dog. The deal is when we get a house, we will get a dog. That's that's the deal. <laughs> Sam can get a truck. I can get a dog when we get a house. <laughs> okay, I just sat down to start getting ready for the day. Um I'm going to go today because I have not left the house in probably a month if, unless it was to like run errands or run errands <laughs> like that's it so I'm just gonna go today to like a little coffee shop um, near our house and I'm going to just sit and do some work there so that I can get out a little bit because working from home is just like weird when you do it long term so that's what we're doing today and I'm gonna bring you guys with because Sam has a meeting. Um, so we're just gonna leave the house anyway so we can have some quiet. So pretty out here. Okay, sorry, the lighting looks absolutely insane in here, but, um, oh gosh, I don't even think I can bother vlogging. Hold on one second. Just gonna pull up to a different spot. It's literally right here that I can tell it's more shade. Okay. All right, sorry. So, I've parked. Um, I literally blinked and I was in that coffee shop for three hours almost to the to the minute <laughs> I got so much done I'm probably gonna start doing that weekly it just felt really good to get out but um, I noticed unfortunately I texted Sam while I was in there and I said I think the vlog camera is kicking the bucket I am or I guess I wasn't always the best at handling the camera because it's so small. I feel like it's just, I don't have to be as gentle with it, but that's not the case. Um, I think I'm going to have to get another vlog camera. The button has fallen off of this one and I haven't even had it that long. That's what like really frustrates me. I think I've only had it for like two years, maybe even, yeah, I think it's been two years. Um, so I, the button has, one of the buttons have fallen off of it. It takes so long now to adjust. I noticed when I was editing some of the vlog footage in there that the mic like drops sometimes when I am, um, doing certain things. So I'm just really kind of frustrated. Um, but I mean, there's, you know, there's nothing I can really do. It's a piece of equipment, you know, that stuff doesn't last forever. So I've got to look into getting another one, but Technology has just not been on my side tonight, but I am so excited. It's actually almost five, so I'm gonna go home and kiss my hubby. We're going to order some pizza tonight. I have no idea what we're ordering. Um, we usually like to change it up, but that's all, that's all I really got. So I guess I will see you guys at home. We are getting pizza. Oh my goodness, are you excited? Are you so excited? Yes, we can't wait, we can't wait. We're so excited, can't wait. He's getting to go with us. Gonna go with us to pick up the pizza. It's dark in here. That's it. 
Ooh. Sit, dog. Sit. Look at that. <laughs> he's like, he can barely hold still. Oh my gosh, he's the cutest. I like jam to music when Sam is not in the car and I forget to turn it down. He'll get in the car and he'll just be like, because he can hear my jam sesh like it doesn't turn itself back down. Hey, wait, you said we're going tomorrow at like three? Oh. Um, or just now getting around to She's at three. With his family. Let's, let's shoot for three because Kev has to work. Okay. And like that gives him time to get back. Um, and she said, it's a well, I told her if, if he gets back earlier, I wouldn't mind going at like 1.30, 2 o'clock. Yeah. So we're finally getting around to celebrating Sam's birthday with his family. Had some things come up last week. Um, and then actually, are we also celebrating Harley's birthday? Yes. So, fun fact. <laughs> I hope we never have a January baby. Half of Sam's family has January birthdays. How many people? Four of us, I think. Okay, it, it doesn't sound like that many, but like, and it, it's all guys, right? Yep. That's five. Five. five people. So. Two of them are on the same day. Whenever we start having kids, we're gonna avoid times that will put baby coming in January because literally January birthdays are like, Four of them are within yeah, like, five days of each Yeah, there, I mean, it is literally like boom, 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 boom. And it's extended, oh, <laughs> it's extended family, but like you and your brother are 10 days apart? And the, no, you're five. It's five days apart and they're 10 years exactly. Yeah. So like Harley turned 15, five days before Sam turned 25. So um, yeah, we're just, we're gonna hopefully cross our fingers and toes that whenever we decide to have a little baby Robinson, that and it, it done come in January. Okay, I'm like being too all over the place. For, yeah, see it's not even focusing on my face. So we will chat once we get pizza.